हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू दिराना एकेडमी सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड क्लास टेंथ आईसीएससी चैप्टर नंबर फोर एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एज वेल एज द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दो टॉपिक सो इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अवर न्यू टॉपिक एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ रिवर्सबिलिटी सो विदाउट फर्दर ए डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट ऑल राइट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट in which we have learned that when a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium then due to change in speed of light it get deviated from its path if a ray of light is traveling from rarer to denser medium then the ray of light will bend towards the normal and if it travels from denser to rarer medium it will bend away from the normal then what do you mean by principle of reversibility all right for that let me give you one example suppose a ray of light is traveling from air to glass now you know that air is a rarer medium and glass is a denser medium suppose the refractive index of air is mu a and the refractive index of glass is mu g all right so if a ray of light is traveling from rarer to denser medium we know that it will bend towards the normal that means it will move like this right so the angle made by the incident ray with the normal is known as angle of incidence so this one is your angle of incidence and the angle made by the refracted ray with the normal is known as angle of refraction so this one is your angle of refraction right now according to snell's law if a ray of light is traveling from air to glass then the refractive index of glass with respect to air can be written as sin of i upon sin of r is that okay now suppose if we place a plane mirror perpendicularly to the direction of ray of light like this and you know that if a ray of light falls normally on a plane mirror it will reflect back right so in this particular condition also when a ray of light falls normally on a plane mirror it will reflect back like this and it will retrace its own path actually the principle of reversibility says that a ray of light can retrace its original path so now if a ray of light is traveling from denser to rarer medium now you could see that the ray of light is actually traveling from glass to air so according to snell's law the refractive index of air with respect to glass because the ray of light is now traveling from glass to air so above you will write glass and below you will write air so that will be given by sin of now in glass the angle is r and in air the angle is i so therefore we can write sin r upon sin of i clear now you just need to multiply these two so you will get a mu g uh, multiply by g mu a and you will get sin i over sin r multiply by sin r over sin i these two will cancel with each other so if a ray of light retraces its path that means if a ray of light travels from air to glass and due to this plane mirror it retraces its path then your a mu g is 1 upon g mu a now what does this mean this means if the refractive index of glass with respect to air refractive index of glass with respect to air is 3 by 2 then if i just need to find out the refractive index of uh, air with respect to glass i just need to take reciprocal of this value and that will be 2 by 3 so according to the principle of reversibility a ray of light can retrace its original path and if it do so then your a mu g is equal to 1 upon g mu a i hope you got this concept so let's get further now we have to learn about the conditions under which a ray of light passes from one medium to another medium without any deviation so the first condition is when your angle of incidence is 0 degree 
Now look at this. Suppose there is a ray of light falling on the surface perpendicularly. That means, suppose a ray of light falls normally on the surface such that your angle of incidence is 0 degree. Under that particular condition, your ray of light will travel through another medium without any deviation. So, this is the first condition under which a ray of light when travels from one medium to another medium, it will not deviate from its path. And the second condition is that, suppose your ray of light is traveling from medium 1 to medium 2. Now, the refractive index of medium 1 is mu 1 and the refractive index of medium 2 is mu 2. If your mu 1 is equal to mu 2, that means both of these medium will have the same refractive index. Under that particular condition, your ray of light will travel from one medium to another medium without any deviation. So, these are the two conditions under which a ray of light will travel from one medium to another medium without any deviation. So, let us revise it. Number one, when a ray of light falls normally on the surface, then without any deviation, the ray of light will travel from one medium to another medium. And number two, when a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium and both are having the same refractive index, then also the ray of light will travel from one medium to another medium without any deviation. I hope you understood this concept. Okay. So, in today's lecture, we have discussed about the principle of reversibility as well as we have also understood the conditions under which a ray of light can travel from one medium to another medium without any deviation. So, now you what need to do is, you just need to download notes from the link that I have given in the description box. So, that is all for today. Thank you so much.